Hi, Mitch Bailey here. I want to show you a trick that I use because I use ChatGPT, Microsoft 365 Forms, and YouTube to create my tailgate safety meetings. As a manager of a company, sometimes you struggle with uh, creating a new topic and uh, a list of questions and things like that that you need for doing your tailgate safety meetings that you have to do every two weeks. Um, I use ChatGPT chat GPT to do this I also use uh, Microsoft 365 and forms Microsoft forms and I use YouTube and I'm gonna show you how I put together a safety meeting for today um, it's 6 uh, 6 15 in the morning this morning and I have a safety meeting at uh, when I have it at 7 a.m. so I'm gonna put together one real quick right here I'll show you how to do it So what we start is we'll start with ChatGPT. And I went to ChatGPT and I give them a prompt, give me 10 tailgate safety, uh, construction company safety meeting topics. And it gave me 10 subjects here. And I picked one. What did I pick? I decided to do heat stress prevention. And that's because it's getting warm. It's starting to come on summer. So I'm do, that's a great subject. And now what I asked uh, ChatGPT to do is uh, from that program, give me five questions with answers uh, from, that I can give for my um, employees So, uh, for stress prevention. Well, they gave me the five questions with answers. The thing is, I wanted a multiple choice. So I had to reprompt it, uh, make them multiple choice for each question. ChatGPT changed them, and this is what it looks like. So the first question, uh, what are the early signs of heat-related illness? They gave me four answers, and uh, excessive sweating was the was the one uh, chosen answer B. So how do I, I go about do this? Let me show you real quick. So first of all, you want to go to Microsoft Forms, and you want to create a new quiz. Okay, open up a new quiz, and I'm going to title this quiz uh, uh, "Heat Illness uh, Two S's Two many S's uh, Prevention." Uh, and I'm going to put today's date, which is 05-14-24, uh, and I'm set. Now, um, do I need to do anything else there? No, but what I am going to add is I have to, I'm going to use this for my roll call, so I'm going to put a text uh, question, and I'm going to put first name, and I'm going to make it required so that people have to have to put that in no points and then add a new one again text last name so I know who filled it out and then I'm gonna add a choice um, I'm gonna add a choice question and then I'm gonna go back to chat GPT take the question just highlight the, the program and you can just hit the copy button uh, you know by right-clicking I, I like to use control C uh, and then go back uh, to the uh, uh, question tab and then just hit control V and automatically uh, you know put it into the uh, form so now I, I gotta go on my questions so I highlight the one question I'll go back to chat GPT again and now you can make this go very fast just highlight all 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 the sets of questions all at one time don't do the answer then either right click it and save or hit control C go back to the form uh, and put control V and you just did it all. Now that it has an option too that it just I'm just going to delete that one. I don't need it. And I'm going to make this. Uh, I'm going to give it some points because we got five questions. I want 100 points. The guys can score. So I'm going to give it 20 points. It's going to be required. And the the uh, answer was excessive sweating. So I click on it. I just go to add new. Now we're going to do choice again. And I'm just going to continue all the way through to each question. Highlight the question. Uh, control C go back to heat illness prevention program control V click on the next one go back to chat GPT highlight all the questions this one how can you stay hydrated while working in hot conditions the answer is drink water frequently throughout the day and I'll just hit control C take it back over to my form hit control V now I've copied it all get rid of the one question that I don't need and I'm gonna make drink water frequently throughout the day the answer add new choice um, 
I'm going to go over back to chat GPT. This next question, what are some strategies for reducing heat exposure during the hottest part of the day? Highlight it. Control C for copy. Go back over here. Control V for answer. Um, then I'm going to hit chat GPT again. And then highlight all the questions. And control C. And it says B is the answer. So I'm going to go back, put it in here. Um, click on the control V. It it populated all of it. Now I just delete the one I don't need and put the answers correct for that one. I'm going to do the same thing for the next question. Question number four. Why is acclim acclimatization important in preventing heat related illnesses? Control C and back to, to here. Control V to enter. Go back, click on the next one. Go highlight all four questions. Control C heat illness prevention program and control V get rid of the one that I don't need and uh, the correct answer was B on that one add a new choice and go back for the last question what should you do if a coworker begins experiencing symptoms of heat related illness I'm gonna highlight it control C highlight uh, then go back over here to heat illness prevention program and hit control V and then again go back to chat GPT and do the last answers try to highlight all of them control C uh, click on the last one hit control V get rid of the last one and uh, the answer to this one is they're they're all B so <laughs> you can you can change it up if you wanted to then uh, I'm done. This is all complete. However, I like to add a video through YouTube. And so uh, earlier I, I kind of perused and I went to YouTube and I found heat exhaustion. I like this video. I kind of watched a little bit of it and this, um, this is, fits what I want to do. And so I'm going to add a video to this. So I'm going to highlight this uh, safety video on heat exhaustion. Just highlight it copy the uh, the address go back to my form I'm gonna go to the first question click on it and then you'll see there there's a little icon here for drag media click on that insert video right click it and put paste and then hit add and there's your video added to the first question so the when the employees take this take this quiz they can uh, watch the video let's say they're not here maybe they're out in the field they didn't come in it wasn't worth doing that I can have them take the safety do the whole safety meeting via a Microsoft forms in the field so you could do this at various locations you have more than one location very quick and easy for somebody to create a safety topic safety program uh, this is the cool part about it, so let me show you what it looks like so if I preview this let's preview it in mobile so this is what the people would see on their phone and you enter your answer you put the first name in so let's go ahead and do it so I'm gonna put in Mitch and I'm gonna top Bailey okay I'm gonna go down here and uh, I can watch the video so I can watch the video and uh, give it a second to start so videos playing Tell the guys, hey, watch the video. Once I've watched the video, I can go in and answer the questions. I know they're all B's because I put it together. So the excessive sweating, read the question, drink plenty of water frequently throughout the day, schedule physically demanding tasks, uh, last one, and then the last one, seek medical attention, and hit submit. They can view their results. What were my results? I got 100 out of 100. The cool part about it is when you when you're looking at this and you go back and you look at your responses, you you as the manager can go in, open up an Excel in it, and preview the results, and you can see every person's score, how they scored. And so if you had somebody that didn't do it correctly, you could come in here, correct them, go in, take them aside, say, hey, hey, uh, why didn't you understand this? Did you need you need some help? So on and so forth. You can do all kinds of things with Microsoft Forms, you know, in 365, doing quizzes like this all the time. You can also, uh, you know, add videos. You could add as many videos as you want. You just need to click the link in so every question can have its own video if you want to do that. Um, you can customize it to where it looks. So this heat illness prevention program, 
Uh, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to uh, go back to the questions and I'm going to add. I want to. I want to customize a little bit. I want to add a picture to it. So uh, I'm going to go here to style, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go, go in here and I can p pick the style. So they have all kinds of styles in here. I, I want to create my own. I want to customize themes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload an image. I can upload an image at, of uh, anything I want. So I can upload it from my computer. So let's take a look at, uh, let's see what the, we got here. So let's take like safety and training. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's, let's upload, let's upload this picture of a flu. Okay. So this is a picture of a flu that wasn't done correctly. So we can upload this picture and this will become the background. So we just hit open and you'll, you'll see it. It's all in the background. The picture's in the background. So now they have that. I can also add company logo to it. I can come in here and add a company logo, upload. And go to my safety training. Uh, let's see. Let's let's upload. Let's upload the Air Heroes and Bailey's logo. Now it's up at the top. Again, when they go to preview it, it's going to look like this uh, in preview on a mobile phone. You can customize this. So this is very professional looking and everything else. And then you, it saves automatically whenever something's entered. It saves automatically back to the cloud in Microsoft. 365 so you always have access to it you have your safety programs all put together this is a quick easy way so you guys that own companies or HVAC managers use chat GPT use uh, Microsoft 365 forms and use uh, uh, YouTube to put together your safety program and you'd be so how how easy how quick this was it took less than 15 minutes for me to put this together now what I got to do is I'm going to change this. I'm going to go back to the questions. I the the thing I have to do is we're going to collect responses because not everybody has an account that works for us at, with 365. If they were all only people that work for Bailey's Heating and Air here, I would just have them sign in and you know they could they could do it. Instead, I'm going to put anyone can do this, and then I'm, I'm going to shorten the URL. I can copy that link and I can send it to me in an email. I can then text it to the employees or send it as an email to the employees so they can do it. But what I really like to do is I'll take a QR code and create a QR code uh, for the subject here. And then what I'm going to do is I'll download that. Uh, and I'm, I'm just going to, I already have QR code. Uh, and uh, let's do it right here. So we're going to hit save. Now this is for 514. So, um, that's already put in there so I'm good to go now now then what I'll do is I'll print this and I, I'd already done one here this is for I'm gonna redo it so I'll go back insert uh, from my uh, from my files this device and I find what to, what's today it was uh, 514 uh, this one right here and insert now I can print this I'll print a couple of copies of this when the guys come in they can scan it with their phone we can all do the quiz I also like to do what I'll do is in YouTube because I have YouTube premium I'll create a training uh, a, a playlist and add this to the playlist and create a playlist just for today so today is the playlist safety and training and just add it in there and it's it's done now I can play this on the television screen down in the training room for the guys, the, the video before we do the questions. Simple, easy, this takes no time at all. If you're an HVAC manager or a contractor, HVAC contractor, and you, even any other construction contractors, I mean, you could be a plumber, electrician, a framer, it doesn't matter. This is a great way to create your safety program, do your tailgate safety uh, 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 topics, and satisfy what OSHA requires that you actually do. This is very good, very easy to use. Take advantage of it. All right. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next one.